This is one of the best series I've seen recently. And I wasn't going to watch it because I'm not a big zombie person. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Board. On this episode, I'll be talking about All of Us Are Dead. It's a Netflix series, a Korean drama, thriller, horror. There's 12 episodes. I was, I was a little wary about that. They're all over 50 minutes each. And it's about zombies. But the zombies are interesting. Kind of like the, the another Korean show, uh, Kingdom, which is also on Netflix. I was, I was intrigued. You know, after the first episode, I was like, I'm kind of into this. So there's this girl at school. She, she gets bit by something. And nobody knows what's going on. You know, it's not like they quickly identify, oh, she's a zombie or something like that. She is trying to, like, attack students and, and stuff like that but they're like all right let's take her to the nurse let's send her to the hospital and you know we'll figure it all out um and they send her to the hospital and that leads to the spread because when she goes to the hospital of course she starts attacking people and she happened to bite someone in the school so now there's a zombie in the school and it's not a no it's it's a big school i was thinking you know maybe like a floor or two no, this thing is like a campus. They got a big open field. They have multiple buildings and stuff like that. So it's a pretty big school, a lot of students, and it's ground zero, essentially. That's where everything started. And you follow these different groups around, you know, throughout the episodes. And I'm going to start with like, I'm not going to start with the, the big group you spend the most time with, but you, you spend time with this detective. He's questioning someone and the outbreak takes the police station. He finds this other guy, you know, with all the chaos. And they find out information about the zombies, so they have to head somewhere. And when you when you with them, it's it's serious, but it's not as much tension with the other people. It's more there has there's some comedic elements with them too because he doesn't really call the guy by his his real name. They come across some other weird person that's out there, and you know whenever they on screen, it it's more funny than like oh my god I'm I'm scared for them. Uh, you have this firefighter. He was in the middle of rescuing like a, another group of people. Um, then he gets the call that it's like a, a zombie thing going on. And he remembered, he was one of the people that took the girl from the school to the hospital. And he starts piecing it together. He's like, I have to go back to the school because my daughter is there. Um, and his journey is crazy because people don't want to help him. They're like, nope, this is shut down. We under martial law. You can't go here. You can't do this. And he finds a way to get out of some situations and when you're with him, it's really tense because you don't know what's happening in the city. And, you know, with everything shut down, you got zombies everywhere. So all the moments with him is real tense. And you, you just hope that he, you know, he makes it to his daughter. There are a lot of characters in here that you root for. Uh, like I say, in a lot of disaster movies and TV shows, there's people that's just evil and you want harm to come to them. Same thing here. There are students that just are just horrible people for some reason. Even though everything around them is coming to an end, they're just some horrible people. And you spend a lot of time with these kids in this school. And you have to think, it's high school. There's groups. There's cliques. There's people that don't like each other. There's people that like each other but won't say anything. And there's all different types of people in this particular group. They all end up in a classroom. You have, you have the class president. Nobody really likes her. Even though she didn't want to be the class president, her mom like donated money and she became the class president. So nobody really likes her. You have these nerds, you have a former bully who's kind of chill, actually, you know, as a former bully. You have best friends, you have people who look down on other, you know, others, you know, who aren't doing as well. And one by one, things just start to happen. You know, they, they encounter their first zombie and it happens to be a teacher. And they're like, what do we do? And they figure it, they figure stuff out. These kids are really smart. Um, in terms of how how to figure out how to get to different places around the school or what they should do next. Because they're not killers. You know, a lot of times in in zombie shows or zombie movies, the people who encounter the zombies, they just, all of a sudden they become killers. All right, this is how you kill them. This is how you take them out. And they start doing that. In this show, it's more survival. You know, they in the hallway, they're running. They're, they're just bracing, you know, hoping, hoping not to get bit and throwing the zombies around. It's not really until the end where you see them actually kill a zombie the right way. Um, a lot of times they're throwing their body in front of other people, you know, to save them, they're tackling them, or, you know, they're throwing them into a room and closing the door. That's that's what you see 
um, for the most part with these kids. And you have another small group that uh, came back to the school after like a, a archery tournament and they come and everything is just crazy and bonkers and she's looking for her brother you know because her brother was in school so she's shooting people with arrows and it's killing them but they're trying to find a way back into the school to find her brother so it's just it's really tense and it's really good the characters are just they have some scenes where it's just real emotional um you you have you experience love you experience loss um it's it's a great show you know i hope i don't really need a season two it does end on like a cliffhanger uh there are a lot of things that happen in the show that i don't want to spoil and it's very interesting you know where they took it and i was just after every episode i was like damn that was good i want to watch another one and 12 episodes later and it's like wow i hope people check this out um, especially if you enjoy zombies they are fast zombies they run um and it's it's crazy the things that they go through in um, in the school like the things that they come up with or the, the plans they have it's just it's different because it's a certain it's a, a small environment in terms of having a, having the school you you spend time in the city but not as much time and it's it's easier in the city you know but it's it's a great show and check it out all of us are dead on netflix yes yeah, 12 episodes a lot 50 minutes is a lot but you won't be disappointed those are just my thoughts. If you've seen the show, please let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Deuces.